This is a Camus CX-20. And what that means uh, uh, is this is a 20-foot boat. I'm going to show you the swing away tongue feature, which has a pin here that you pull out. Then you come here and it swings really easy. A lot of this is hard on boats, but this is very simple. You come around here and you drop it in. And then you put this here. This feature here on the trailer really doesn't flop over like that. It sets in here like this. This is your seven way plug here. You got your your uh, hooks here that go on the truck to hold it. This is an emergency brake cable. In case something come loose, it'll lock this trailer up. We have the spare tire down here. This is a Fulton XT jack. It's, a, it's an upgrade, it's a better jack. You can see this has a coating on this trailer. All on the channel, all the braces, everywhere on this trailer is coated. You can't scratch it, you can drive it on gravel. So that's a real unique feature. Tandem axle trailer here. It's got the stainless on the top here so you can step and get in the trailer, in the boat, anywhere you want. These have the, the oil filled. They have a six year warranty where you don't have to do nothing to this. In the old days, we'd have to grease these every few months, but not now with these. You come back here and you have your ratchet straps that hold your boat on. So that goes down and when you, when you load the boat up, Go here, you always put good tension on that. So you have one of these on each side. Okay, you can see here you have your anchor lights and they've mounted one on each side. You'll have a red on one side and a green on the other side. So back in the old days, we had a little pole we used to have to put up here and we was always forgetting that or losing that. Now it's in the boat, so you don't have to do that. Here's your tie down cleats. They're flush mounted. The neat thing with this boat, they put three in here. So that means you tie off here or on the other side, you can tie off here. <laughs> what a lot of us know is in the old days, we used to tie to the steering wheel and that's a bad deal. So now we have three cleats on the boat. So you, that's a handy feature. You can see this is the gas tank here. This is something that's different on this boat that's different from any other boat. Um, most boats will have the gas tanks either under the seat or in the back. One thing you have with that, you have a weight distribution and all the weights in the back of the boat. Most gas tanks go horizontal across the boat. So what that means, if one person is bigger than another person, then, then the boat's going to set like this. If uh, you're going around a curve, all the gas is going to come to one side or the other and that. This gas tank sits right in the middle. This goes down here and then right in the middle of the boat, it sets like this, so you don't get none of this, and it's easier to get on plane. The weight distribution in this boat is awesome. So when we add our power poles or our hydraulic jack plates and we fill our live wells, the weight is distributed awesome on this boat, so it handles well. That's why it's one of the best driving boats out there. All right, you can see we ordered this boat without the electronics and the trolling motor because it's hard to guess what our customers are gonna want or need to supply their needs. You can see it has a recessed pedal right here, and we can either put Hummingbird, Lowrance, or Garmin, whatever kind of trolling motor they want right here. Same with the electronics up here. This is your rod box over here. I'll show you this. As you can see, in the Camus, they don't carpet this. One of, the, one of the things we've always complained about for years is this carpet in our rod boxes would get wet when it's raining and then that mildews and you got that smell all the time. Well, as you can see, they finished this rod box all the way up. I mean, all the way through there, there's nothing that's not finished in there. They have your rod holders back here in the back, and you can put, it's got a spot for 15 rods, but you can put 25 rods in there, pretty simple. So that's, the, I'll show you the center one here. So this is your center rod box. You can see you can put rods here, and you can see where the rod tips go up in there. Down here, this is made for your 3,700 tackle boxes. You can put them all across here. What most people do, 
They'll put their spare rods here, and then right here, they'll put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rods that they're going to use that day. They know what they're going to use. And that way they can get them out quick, and then they have the availability of getting to their tackle here. So this boat is set up awesome for that. When we go over here, we have the same rod box. This is called a day box that comes in and out. So like today, if I went fishing, I, knew, I know I'd be using stick baits or A rigs or something that, that pertains to the time of the year. And I can have all the stuff I know I'm going to use that day right here so I don't have to get in here. And that's, this is your day box. This box here, most people use this for spare plastics and stuff but it's a great place to like in the winter time to carry your extra rain suits uh, your coveralls extra set of clothes if you happen to fall in but that's what this box is for as we come down here we can see on both sides you have a place to carry your scissors or your pliers the tools you'll need in a day's fishing right here right here is your measuring board measure your fish put it right here kind of unique they put it there I'll kind of get around here and show you if I caught a fish, I would get down here and I'd get my measuring board out and I'd set it right there and measure the fish. A lot of times when you're measuring fish, the fish will flop off so it's still in the boat. If you do it up here, it'll flop back in the lake and we've had that happen before. All right, guys, here's the center storage in between the, the fishermen here. So when they go and, and uh, things that we would not want to get wet if we fell in or even outside we put here so it's very handy to put your billfolds if you want to put your phones extra gloves things like that it's awesome right here if we're sitting in the driver's seat here and one of the things that's neat here is it has a tilt steering wheel so we can get this up out of the way every time you get in or out you put it in that position you got lots of room these seats have a lever right here and this seat slides forward and back, like I'm kind of short, so I slide it up. Uh, the seat here in the passenger side has the same lever. <clears throat> so when I get in here, I'll come in here and I'll put this down like I'm in a driving mode. You can see it has the gauge here that shows the tachometer, plus down here has the buttons and it'll go through and show you the bolts of your battery, your gas, it'll show you everything right here on this one gauge. Over here is a pretty neat little compartment on this side that opens up and you can see it has two USBs here so the guys will put their phones in here and plug them in plus they'll shut the door and then if they can still hear it but their phones are protected at all times that's neat. Here's your, here's your gauge panel over here and this is all electric here and you, it does everything. Down here is your hot foot. And they, when someone buys a boat, they set that hot foot to match that person's height and the length of their legs. So that's pretty neat. Back here again, this is your net. This is your net holder. We'll kind of go through these boxes here. These are the storage box. This is the one behind the passenger seat. And you can see how big it is. This is the butt seat that goes up front. But look at the size of this, you know, here. And here you got LED lights in this. Close down, lock it here. This is a live well right here. I'm going to take this seat out so we can see this better. All right, guys, here's your live well right here. These are some of the biggest and deepest live wells that they have. They have the pump in, the pump out system here. Has an LED light here. Has the oxygenator in there. Has the recirculating. And this is an individual live well. So if something goes wrong with this live well, this live well right here, which is on the passenger side, is set up exactly like this. So you have your pump out systems, you have your oxygenators there. It's just, it's, it's pretty unique how it's set up. See this right here? This is something I failed to show you on some of the other boxes, but every box in this boat, this is a striker pad. Most boats don't have that. So what happens, they'll do this right here, and when they shut that down, they'll knock little chips out of their boat. Well, they got a striker pad, and this boat will look the same in 10 years as it looks right now because of that. So that's a unique thing there. This storage is just like this storage. It has lots of room in it, has an LED light. All the boxes are lit up very well here. I'm going to show you something back here you're going to like. 
for years, and I've had a lot of boats, 22 different boats. But back here was always the part we complained about because we couldn't get back here and have accessibility to our pumps and batteries and everything because it was always so constrained. Well, look at the size of this. I'm going to take these out. These are storage boxes. What we do with these is we'll get a big Ziploc bag and we'll put our tools and stuff like that back here. So used to it was in one of these boxes and it took away from our storage. But as you can see, now we got it back here. You got two of these. I'll get these out of the way. This is called the parallel jump switch right here. So if you run this starting battery down, you can jump across. You're never stranded out there. And then the other thing that I like is when I get home, I turn that off. I basically turn that off when I'm done fishing. If I stop at a gas station or wherever I stop, somebody can't come up and mess with my boat. They can't trim the motor up and down or nothing because I've turned all the power off. You can see right here, this is a four bank charger. We're going to have a 36 volt system here. We're going to have three um, trolling motor batteries. We're going to have one starting battery here. I'll show you these doors. So say one of these pumps went out or you need to work on this pump back in the live well system. Look in here. See these pumps in here? Very easy to get to. So, you know, I had a guy the other day. So well, what about the bilge? Well, I opened this door down here. Now look down in here. See the, see the pumps there? You can get to everything. And you got so much room. I'm going to show you how much room. Because you can see I'm not real big. But if I want to get down here and get in this thing and work, I can get in here. Just a little joke. I get in here when there's a hail storm, so that kind of protects me. No, I'm kidding. But that, and you can see we have a switch over here for your trolling motor that you can turn all the power off so somebody can't come and uh, mess with your trolling motor while you're not around the boat. Real unique. Right here, this switch here, this is what puts your plug in. Most of the time you have to get down and under the boat and you're bumping your head. So you can see it says out, it's out now. You put it on in, that closes the plug. Well guys, that's the Camus boat. I mean, it's set up, you know, it's just awesome to fish out up. We fished out of one last week and had a great time. We went through big waves. It takes the waves like none other. So, hey guys, I want to thank you for going over this tour about Camus boats and being with us at Boatworks right here in Springfield, Missouri. One of the greatest boats on the market right now. I've talked to you about it, showed you about it. So come in here and see us. We'll give, we'll give you a great price on a boat and you'll enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Bye.